Yo, what's up guys? So what I've been thinking is speeding up these tutorials a bit. I'll just make them under 10 minutes if possible. And then in more detail, I'll go over everything in my course. Just show you guys what I'm doing and then over in my course that I'm working on that I'm spending most of my time on, I'm gonna really go into depth there about how I'm editing these images and my thought process. Speeding up these videos, hopefully to get more views because they drag out a bit sometimes. So yeah, let's get into this one. Okay, so here we have Mike, he's a lifestyle portrait photographer. You can see he's got pretty insane work. So these colors really stand out. So we might bring out the vibrance. He's got a really natural look. So we're gonna be doing a bit of a fade, dropping the clarity maybe, but then adding in a bit of sharpening. And this shot that we're gonna be working with, this one right here, so it was taken at 24 millimeters, 1.4 ISO, 125 and a really quick shutter 5000 and it was shot on a Canon ESO R. We're also going to be working with this shot here but let's get into it. Okay so the first thing I'll do is I'll come down and enable profile corrections, drop the highlights. So I'm going to do quite a bit of work in the curves. Just add in some contrast straight into the curves now. Okay, so that's the curves done, and if I just show you the curve here, so this is what's gonna give us that real nice gradual fade, the real softness to our contrast, by doing a curve like this, bringing down the whites just a bit for a bit of a fade up there, and then just an S curve in these channels, and for this style, I gave a favor to the warmth in the image by taking out a little more blue than the other colors. So it's only very slight, but it, as you can see, it makes a big difference. Our image is very warm. So just taking out a few extra blues keeps that warmth. Almost a green as well in the image. Let's play around up here a bit. So by doing the curves, we added in quite a bit of contrast, but we added a fade with this curve, with the RGB curve. Bit more work up here to get the correct contrast. Bring it down a bit. Quite a flat look. You know, backs just to keep a bit of contrast. Okay, clarity, because we want that nice, smooth, natural look to the image. We don't want that digital look. Let's drop that. Vibrance, I'm gonna bring up. And just drop the saturation a bit bring down the oranges quite a bit yellows down a touch greens we're looking a little green at the moment though. i think that green tint sort of look warm slash green is quite common in film styles but i just want to add a bit more of a orange to get a bit more of a golden look to the image purplish blue just to offset how much warmth we've got in there we've maybe got a bit too much let's so put a little bit there so we've got a really nice natural looking image but since we brought down the clarity a lot we've actually got a bit of room to bring up the sharpening a lot and we'll still have a natural looking image because we did bring down that uh, clarity quite a bit and then I'm going to bring the radius quite low, HSL now. So we just want to match up some colors, fine tune them. So if we just look at, say, our oranges, we've got good on our oranges actually. Yellows, sort of want a bit more of this green. Reds, pretty much just a balloon there. I'll keep them quite red. Um, greens. Pretty natural looking greens, not really, don't really have many greens in this image. They're pretty much registered as yellows. 
aqua so the sky um, can't see a lot at the moment but I'll definitely bring the sky in more with a filter but we'll keep them a nice teal and with the blues here we'll bring we'll bring out the sky a bit really shortly but I'll just give them a nice pale light blue purples just shift them a little in this direction saturation we'll just slightly bring down those two um, blues try to bring them out a bit but I'll do it mainly with a filter Then on to luminance, so luminance is the brightness of colors. Bring out those reds a bit. Yellows, let's give a nice shine to the image by bringing out the yellows. Deepen some aquas, see if they can bring them out a bit. Can't see much. I'll have to do a filter for them. For the tutorial, already placed them so you can see where it's affecting. And if we just introduce some coolness we're going to bring out a lot of blues in the sky so i'm just going to bring down the temperature a bit and it just gives us a lot more blues back there okay so we've got this nice shine coming from this area of the image here so we want to create a nice haze so we've got two filters here what i'm going to do is just bring up the warmth because i want a nice golden shine there uh, bring up the purple a bit so it's not it's not like a greeny warm it's a bit more of an orange because yellow and purple you're going to get a bit more of orange and then exposure and then just another one beside it so going to kind of do the same maybe not as much but just add a bit of warmth purple exposure clarity for that nice haze and i just want to do some brushing now so i've got a brush over top of this balloon here what i want to do with this one is bring down saturation because that balloon's a bit overpowering at the moment bring down its saturation to about there okay so we're on to some brushes of our subject here so we'll start off with this one if i press o you can see that it's affecting most of our subject here so bring out our entire subject by bringing up the exposure drop the blacks a little to keep some contrast bringing up the exposure brightens your highlights shadows whites and blacks but we want to keep our blacks down just a touch otherwise it will look washed out okay so this one here if i press o you can see it's just affecting her here so i want to increase the warmth to bring out the color and then whites to give it a little bit of a pop maybe some saturation to bring out that color as well so you can see that this is affecting her eyes let's bring up the exposure sharpness and clarity okay so that looks pretty good for that one here's our before and after really nice film flat faded look with lots of rich rich warm tones that are slightly green really filmy and then we don't want any grain in this but if i just right click and for now copy settings and here we have all the settings we don't want it brush adjustments we can tick off white balance for this one copy so just like if you're applying a preset if we apply the settings we just have had from the other image and we just go paste settings you'll see if this was a preset it would be really similar okay so this is different lighting this image so it's going to look a little different as you can see it's quite cold we have a lot lot of blues in our image so let's bring up the warmth so this image was a bit darker than the other image so the white balance is going to be a bit colder so we need to bring that up the camera would have registered it as a bit colder we need to bring up the exposure contrast can come down we need to enable profile corrections though and then if we come down we might want to keep a little bit of a vignette as you can see it's like quite dark on the right here so the net might bring out our subject a bit out of this image and then we just have some brushes we need to do so here we have some brushes already placed let's just grab this one press o you can see how it's just pretty much affecting her face and her arm there as well and what i want to do is bring up exposure and then i'm just going to bring up some warmth to help with the skin tone purples as well just so our skin tone isn't too green give it a touch more of a reddish orange by putting purple in then we have another brush on her eyes we need to really bring out her eyes so exposure clarity 
make them nice and crisp and sharpness saturation or well, we look a little too reddish in our oranges so let's just shift oranges more to a yellow looks a little better we won't spend too long on it but you can see how that works really well in a different image different lighting that's how you adjust it to work on multiple images all right guys that's it for this one and go check out my course that i'm working on at the moment guys down in the description check out the presets comment below who you guys want to see and hopefully you guys like this quicker format this one wasn't that quick but i'll try to get them even quicker than this thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one